The stage is set for the 25th annual Trans Perfect Music City Bowl. Kentucky will take on Iowa, and it's expected to be a matchup that will bring big crowds to Nashville. News Channel 5's Araceli Crescencio has more on how the game will also bring a boost to local businesses. For the last 25 years, the Music City Bowl has become a staple in the city. But football isn't the only thing that's celebrated. Each year on average generates about $16 million for the city. One of the bigger events that comes to town. The Music City Bowl means big business for Nashville. In fact, last year the event set a record for bringing in $32 million. Organizers say this year's matchup is a winning combination. Kentucky will return to the trans-perfect Music City Bowl for the sixth time to face Iowa a team that will make its debut in Nashville. I do expect us to have a great crowd and, and a lot of people here. And, and really, from the Iowa standpoint, I expect a long stay uh, of their fans, which is going to be great for our economy. In total, since it began, the game has added $390 million to the city's economy. The venues in downtown and, and sports and entertainment have really transformed what was a really a week that uh, was very slow to one of our, our highest performing weeks economically. It's an economic boost that bars are eager to welcome this year, especially headquarters Beercade, the official home for Kentucky Wildcats fans. We're really excited to, to have the, the game going, all the screens, and uh, we'll be packed out house. Bar manager Wendy Hewen says fans never disappoint. The Kentucky fans bring in a lot of energy and it's very good for our economy. It brings in a lot of people when our um, business is not so busy at this time. And no matter who wins or loses, those who visit are sure to have a good time. In Nashville, Araceli Crescencio, News Channel 5. Kickoff is at 11 a.m. on New Year's Eve at Nissan Stadium. Tickets are still available. We have a link with more information on newschannel5.com.